So the first thing I want to do is to make sure that my data is structured in rows and columns like this. And I want to have my first hierarchy. In this case, it's region. Then I have customer and then I have sales. So in this case, the tree map is going to help me to see the amount of sales by customer. And then it's going to group all of the customers in a certain region. So that's what we're going to try to do right now. So what we want to do now is to select all my data from cell B2 down to cell D18. And then I'm going to go up here to the insert menu. And I'm going to go to the charts section. And I'm going to look for the tree map on this icon right here. It says insert hierarchy chart. So I'm going to click it. And I have two options. I'm going to choose the tree map first because that's what we want to do and there we go so there is my tree map it's displaying the amount of sales in each um, square but as we can see here we have um, north south west east and then once again north west and so it goes but this is not what we want because we want to see all of the regions grouped together so Excel is going to help me to do this, but first I need to sort my data in alphabetical order. So what I want to do is to click here on region. Okay. And then I'm going to be up in the home menu and I'm going to go to the sort and filter option. Okay. And I'm going to click on sort A to C. All right. And after I do this, look what happens. My chart is now arranged the way I wanted it to be. So in this square, um, this orange square, I have the sales for all the North customers. In the blue one, I have the sales of the East customers, then the South and the West. So I also have this option where I can put the labels up in, the, in each of the quadrants. So I'm going to select my chart here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to look for the format data series. Okay. And this is going to bring up the right panel and I'm going to look for this series options. And I'm going to look for this icon. Okay. And then it's going to show me my, my three options, which are non overlapping on banner right now it's overlapping, but if I click on banner, the chart is going to show me um, a banner up in each quadrant. So as you can see here, north displays this, east is this quadrant and south this one. And same thing for the west. So I can choose either one of them. Um, to be honest, I like the overlapping one. I think it's more clear and it, it's more straightforward. So that's how you do a, a tree map in a different video. I'm going to show you how to edit this and how to format it so that it looks more beautiful. All right. I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, please remember to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be supporting entrepreneurship in Central America and motivating me to make more videos. Thanks again and see you next time.